I'm uh, I'm Tom at by uh, Guitar and Hugs, and we released uh, EP in Bones about a month ago now. Um, recorded all at all at El Capitano Records. Um, and yeah, so you could say a bit more about the production side and stuff. Yep. So I'm Sam, and I uh, sing in Hugs, and I also recorded and basically produced the new EP with the help of tom tom was very much on the production end of things but i was yeah basically recorded and engineered the whole thing out at my place um okay. <laughs> yeah that, that's who that's who we are what's, what's the next question sorry man go off into a massive tangent there buddy i felt like i was too but i was like no nah, wait for the next question sorry <laughs> thanks for joining us guys <laughs> oh, thank you sorry, no bless you Cheers uh, for having us, man. But should Hugs release your new EP in Bones back in March, so about a month ago now. So did you get the reception you guys were hoping for? I'd say so, so far. Everybody's, like, been really, really positive about it. Um, you know, I've never really been involved in a band where we've worked so hard on, like, crafting the songs and also recording them, I guess. Normally it's a pretty quick pro... Like, normally recording's a pretty quick process. You just sort of go in slam it down and whatever comes out is what it is but we spent a really long time sort of crafting the sounds and the parts uh tom wrote these really cool sort of interlude bits to join the songs together and um yeah i'm like really stoked with the reception that we've gotten so far from it and we continue to get yeah i'm the same i was um yeah heaps of warm words uh especially from friends um and other bands that um that we got from it so yeah i was i was really happy with how, how it was received hey very good and it's, it's a five track ep guys but you can't really class the opening piece as a song like it's more like an ambient intro that loves the whole sense of security yeah so it's really like it's three core songs really because like reprise is a bit more fleshed out than welcome as well but yeah really it's like the core three and then yeah those are sort of just to fill in the gaps and bridge it all together i think the whole thing only runs for about 12 minutes or something but it's like tight and <laughs> i i like to think it's good as well <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna argue with you because i quite liked it <laughs> thank you thank you uh, so because it's just a small thing then guys like run us through each song and, and where it comes from and what you're going for with it so we'll start with in bones i think in bones is probably the, the closest uh like midwest emo sounding song we had from it initially welcome um and in bones are the same song pretty well but we decided to cut uh the start little tacky bit and slow it down and make it a bit more of like an intro for the rest of the ep but um that one was just like for on the guitar at least it was just fitting as much kind of ideas and like fun just you know like showy flashy stuff as uh um as a chord into it and um yeah yeah i think it was probably one of the funnest to produce, I reckon, too. I remember Sam, because um, it was pretty, like, sparse compared to the others. And then Sam kind of was sitting uh, at, a, at the studio and kind of layering it up more and more. So there was a whole bunch of stuff that went in um, after we recorded just the, you know, just tracked the instruments. That was um, that was really, really good to do. It's like those little vocal bits and stuff uh, that we did in the chorus there, Sam. Oh, cheers, man. <laughs> well yeah that like because that all came together around we demoed the whole ep live before we actually like recorded it and that is one of the songs because i play rhythm guitar when we play live but i didn't play any guitar on the ep um and in bones is one of the songs that i don't play guitar for live it's just a one guitar song when we do it live and when we demoed it it was like I don't even want to say thin, but it was, it wasn't huge guitar sounds. It was just one clean sort of Telecaster sound going the whole time, but it had this real sort of like, um, energy and just hitting the choruses clean and everything. It, it was sparse, but super fun, super sort of drivey. And then, yeah, I guess we just added a little bit of ear candy in afterwards to spruce it up a bit for the EP. And how about title junior? Well, Tom, Tom, uh, like came up with that concept is basically, do you want to talk about this, Tom? Oh, sure. Just like a, it was, um, the chorus, I think Sam, it, Sam and Willie kind of wrote the verses and then the chorus, um, was just like the, an idea to get the kind of heavier sound of, 
uh, title, uh, sorry, Dinosaur Jr. And um, then with the kind of aggression of title fight. So we tried to mix those two things up so that, like, hence the, hence the name of the song. But, um, yeah, it's going for, like, a heavier, heavier kind of um, uh, song on the album because I think we all like that kind of music and wanted to make something a bit, um, a bit darker and a bit heavier for that one. And we called the song uh, Title Junior because of the title fight and the Dinosaur Junior thing. And uh, David Young, who's a music writer down here, uh, he pointed out that we missed the opportunity of calling the song Dinosaur Fight. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> cool. But it's also like the lyric of that as well is um, it's sort of just following a character. Like if you've ever met one of those sort of tradey blokes who you know is a good egg and has that spark in them and everything, but they're just so run down by getting up at 6 a.m. every day and being hung over every Monday morning. And you know, you know those types who are always just a little bit staunch, a little bit grumpy, not, not doing anything wrong, but just on that, you know, just on that sort of, you know, I think like we've all worked, I mean, <laughs> at least me and Tom, we've worked shitty laboring jobs that we haven't really, <laughs> you know had much love for and it's sort of it's sort of a shout out to those those people i guess very cool and how about reprise tom i think that, that was just um i think it just started as two just an a and b session just two guitar ideas that were just vamp like real short um loops and uh that was probably the funnest to do in the studio because it was basically all done really in the studio like it all was pretty spontaneous i want to feel like daryl did the drums he kind of heard the song like a couple times and just whipped out that drum part and then willie laid up some um the synths and uh changed it all yeah so it was really like a kind of studio song if that makes sense like it was all done really you know without much demoing or anything like that really I had just like the two guitar parts and that was pretty well pretty well it before going into the studio yeah well, the whole idea behind it was just putting, you know, it does uh, what it says on the tin, so to speak. It's our little reprise from <laughs> the rest of the EP. It, and yeah, as Tom said, it was really built out of like studio magic. Although I wouldn't even call it that because, you know, it's all legit musicianship on it. It was just sort of, it's not something we ever actually played in band practice or whatever. Tom just sort of came with the riff. As he said, we sort of chucked the drums on there. And then like me and Tom spent quite a bit of time just together layering various um, percussive sort of elements over it. We were sitting there with these really beautiful Zildjian cymbals and like dangling chains over them and getting the sizzle just right. And it felt very like, you know, it felt very like old school studio excess sort of vibes where we're just sitting around putting these random noises in there and spending like an hour getting a cymbal to hit right. And then we're like, oh, oh, that's the one. Um, and then, yeah, we added at the end, we just added that lyric in there from, um, what is that lyric from? Is that from So Far Down, Tom? That, and I'll sink and I'll sleep. Oh, in bones, the end that's in bones. bones right 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 so i always forget which one we use but um yeah we took that lyric off of in bones so it sort of like gives it a motif joins it all together and uh yeah i think it's like a special little song just for that sort of reason and we finish up with so far down that you just mentioned wrongly before <laughs> yes i did wrongly mention that. that's my favorite song personally because i'm like the dark you know, Tom's really into the Midwest emo thing. I love the Midwest emo thing, but I'm like emo, emo. I'm like the dark one, you know? Oh. I write the dark lyrics and it's always Tom pulling me back and saying, hey man, does it need to be this downbeat? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I feel like no, with, it, it, oh, and yeah. it works to the advantage because I'm doing the same thing with Sam going, hey man, does it need to be that that stupid? Like we'll find <laughs> some new <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well like i feel like we're really on the same page musically but there is this harmony that comes from that of like you get two people with strong creative ideas you know it's like the truth is normally somewhere in between you know what i mean that's like 
where we find the sweet spot. So with that song, that was one of the songs that was like written whole cloth, I think before I even joined the band. And they were playing it almost with the same, like we changed a couple things once the lyrics was added, but it's like that song, I heard the instrumental, the first, like when I first met the guys and it just kind of connected really quickly, sort of put this lyric with it. And it's, you know, it's a bit of an emo-y, you know, depresso, whatever you want to call it. But I feel like it really kind of harkens back to like the mid 2000s, like when emo was at its absolute height. Like, especially in like the way that we tried to produce it. And yeah, I don't know. That's, that's the song I wouldn't say I'm most proud of, cause I'm really, really proud of all of it, but it's probably my favorite song off of the EP. And the press release refers to your sound as delicately crafted, soaring emo and hook infused, fist pumping punk rock. Now, is that a fair assessment? I think it's fair. It's, just, it's hard to say. That's <laughs> what, that's what I'm following. It's hard to say. <laughs> I mean, I think if anything, that's like uh, being nice to us. It's more <laughs> than fair, you know? <laughs> so if you had to break it down, like most people would call you an indie, you know, sort of type core chat, but there's too much going on really to narrow it down to just one genre, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'd like to think so. What do you reckon, Tom? Yeah, yeah. I feel like in the EP, we try to fit a whole bunch of stuff on. Like, I read. Yeah, again, I'm really into the, uh, uh, I don't know, like the more clean, twinkly, um, math rock influenced emo stuff, like American football and all that. And um, yeah, Sam, uh, yeah, probably like into the darker, a bit heavier kind of stuff. So I feel like that comes through in the album as well. And like our drummer, Daryl, is a big fan of Rush, which is another, you know, like, um, like it, yeah, I don't know. If, lots of lots. Like we all have very different tastes in music, and I feel like that comes through with the like the different variety of stuff that's that's on the on the EP. Um, yeah, no, that's that's heaps flattering. That that uh, the the description. It in really the, is. In the, yeah, that's that's very nice. <laughs> I want to even quite try and say that because I had trouble fist pumping punk rock. Try and say it. Yeah, yeah fist pumping yeah. pump. Oh, no, I couldn't. It's I, not I, easy, I is messed it? it up. <laughs> you think I was a retard, but it's not fucking easy. <laughs> this pumping punk rock. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, moving on. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Yeah. <laughs> so, along those lines, guys, like, with so many genres to draw on, like, how do you find the balance between them all? And how do you know when you've ever gone too far or something that's just not going to work? I think that just comes from like, we, we do a fair bit of jam. And when I say we, it's like mostly those three guys. Cause I'm probably the least, you know, it's in terms of playing, I'm probably the least gifted of the bunch <laughs> sort of thing. Like everybody's really good at their respective instruments. So Tom, our bass player's named Willie, our drummer's named Daryl. And those three guys, they really just like, they can jam and just sort of make stuff happen. And it's sort of born out of that like natural, like, I don't even know what's called, but just that interaction between people who sort of, sort of get it and sort of chemistry. gel. Chemistry. Yeah. Chemistry. That's it. That's the perfect word. Tom, you gonna add anything to that, bro? Uh, yeah, no, I think, uh, like, if, I don't know. It's a, cause Sam, yeah, Sam writes really good, really good vocal melodies. So I feel like if the, if you make an instrumental, that's too, you know, too tricky, too noodly. Um, it doesn't become a very like good sounding song. So you're gonna have to find that middle point between something that's um, will you know, hopefully sound catchy and something that is interesting instrumentally. So I feel like that's a um, yeah, it's just a point we get to just in the you know in the rehearsal room, kind of um, just yeah, just trying to find a middle ground that way. As we said off the top, like um. In Bones has been out for about a month now. So what's next for Hugs? What are you just got planned? Uh, do you want to say, Tom? Oh, we've got a, we've got yeah, more music. Uh, we're writing some now, and we have a song that's going to be recorded soonish, and uh, a tour also of the East Coast um, in June, July this winter. Just um, just a few yeah, a few dates long uh, there, and also playing in uh from the flat from the floor up uh festival in brisbane um which we're looking forward to 
20th of May. Yeah, 20th yeah. of May. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you better be there, Sam. <laughs> I'm going to be. I'm going to be. <laughs> I had to move things around to be available, man. I'm going. I'm there with bells on. All right, boys. Well, thanks very much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. And um, yeah, I'll try to pop along to the Brisbane show and say hello. That'd be great. Cheers, heaps, Chris. Yeah.